So for those of you who do not know, for those of you who are currently abroad and uh, you guys are currently building your houses here in Niger, and you are sending money in from abroad just for them to quickly complete your buildings, your project over here, let me sadly inform you. Let me sadly inform you. Building materials are currently very, very expensive. And the prices are on a daily basis skyrocketing. In fact, in less than 24 hours, cement in Nigeria, Dangote cement, Bua cement, all the cement in Nigeria moved from 8,000 Naira. No, in less than two days, it moved from 8,000 Naira to 10,000 Naira. In less than 24 hours, the price moved from 10,000 Naira to 15,000 Naira <laughs> in less than 24 hours. So how is that even possible? How is that even possible? I can tell you uh, what I think. Apart from uh, the whole economy struggle and everything we are facing here, eh, the reason why it's possible is because of this. Most Nigeria businessmen eh, are extremely greedy. They are greedy and wicked on top of it. They are greedy and really, really wicked. That is just the truth about the whole stuff. They are greedy and wicked. So tell me how can I afford a bag of cement that is 15,000 Naira that cannot even stand? Like, after you buy a bag of cement, you're going to buy sand, though. You're going to buy mold blocks, right? In order for you to even set up a house. So tell me, how can it be possible for someone to build him or herself a house in Nigeria? Well, for those of you abroad, you guys might be shouting, saying, oh, it's too expensive. Well, that's the reality on ground. Hmm? If you are sending that uh, $100 or $500, $1,000 for you, for them to help you to buy cement, please, you have to double that money. Up because cement prices are up and building material prices are currently skyrocketing. In fact, you might even go to a shop to buy cement. The person will be really really like the person wouldn't even want to sell to you because he doesn't know if that price will go up tomorrow or not he doesn't know if the next minute if that price will go up so if you are going to even buy anything the person is constantly making call how far how much is it now currently at your place how much is this now at the depot just so just so that eh, as soon as you sell it's going to send the money down to that place to order because if he doesn't order immediately, he's going to run at lost. So some businessmen in Nigeria, they are just extremely wicked. Now, I'm not talking about this normal businessmen. They are, see, okay, before going there, because of the crisis and everything, Tunubu had to sum up Bua Cement, sum up Dangote, and also sum up these other uh, uh, La, La Fagi and others over escalating cement price. Dangote, Bua, PLC, and La Fagi and others over escalating cement prices. So let's check if that summer we yield any positive result. Huh? Let's check if it's going to yield any positive result. This cement, all the necessary material for cement, eh, they are found in Nigeria. So how come we are giving these people our natural resources to refine and take their share out of it, and it's extremely expensive, more than some countries that doesn't even have the rock and every natural resources needed for producing the cement. How much is cement in Ghana? How much is a bag of cement in Ghana? Let me check. Bag of let me check my uh, my uh, Google bag of cement in Ghana. 
I say a 50 kg bag of uh, Chanchim uh, cement in Ghana cost an average of 80 CDs. 80 CDs, let me see, 80 CDs to Nigeria currency. Let me check that. 80 CD to Naira. ATCD to Naira. ATCD to Naira because of our current, uh, because of our current economic, uh, our Naira falling drastically. ATCD is, is about uh, 9,500 Naira. 9,500 Naira. So ATCD is equivalent to 9,500 Naira over here in Niger. And we are, uh, we are buying it here for as much as uh, 15,000 Naira as at now. How is that even still possible? How is that even still possible? So, it's simple. We should all suspend our buildings. We should all suspend building. We should all suspend it. You know, go now all those times, the parable that, oh, no matter how prices of material increase, people still want to build with you. Those are the kind of uh, useless inspirational messages that you get that will make you want to forge ahead in an economy that you guys should stand together and say, no, we will not buy your cement again. But some people will buy, you know, the division is there because of those dirty inspirational quotes. And again, I don't partly blame these business people because in school we were taught to maximize profit. Maximize profit. The only thing we were taught in school when it comes to businesses is how to steal and steal and steal and uh, swingle the economy, swingle the economy, swingle our brothers and sisters. That is the only thing. There is no honesty in business. Let's be honest. For those of you who are saying honesty, there is no honesty in business. It's business, we just want to maximize profit. And maximizing profit is simple. Hmm? Look for the scarce material, hold them, and sell them later, higher price. Finish. All the school that we have been going from down to up, learning about economy, learning about business and everything. Let me tell you what it means. I will just summarize in a little form. Maximize your profit. When you have a product, you hold that product and you sell it later when it is scarce. Or, better still, the best one is that just create a product that no one has ever created before and is going to sell. Fix your own price. Fix your own price. So, if we want to re-educate ourselves in this country, we need to go back to the uh, to the to our founding fathers and re-educate ourselves. That sometimes it's good to also be your brother keeper because business is do, do, does not a good businessman will not be his brother's keeper. Let me be honest with you. A good businessman that wants to grow will be only his keeper. Yeah. Maximize profit. That's all it. Maximize profit. And if you maximize your profit and you make so much money for the investors, you will be awarded, you will be rewarded. In fact, in business meeting, you will be given an award as the best businessman that year or that particular era that is what that is what we are taught now simple and short maximize your profit so they are done with it and everything everybody holding the food uh, uh taking an opportunity of the current economy situation and maximizing their profit and also their business man they have to safeguard their businesses as well you, you don't expect them why the naira is going down and meanwhile our government have one of the most 
like ridiculous deal with them. Ridiculous deal that will make them billionaires and meanwhile Nigeria should be suffering just for their own private gain. And you expect them to be human enough to say, oh, he decreases the, the price when the deal is all right. The, the deal and the contract is already there. Reason I'm now. And meanwhile, I check out this woman that uh, apparently the woman was so hungry that he had to faint. <laughs> she was carrying the baby on her back. I don't know what she was, where, where she was going to, but according to high weakness, they said a woman carrying a child fainted from hunger. Fainted. From hunger after not eating for four days. A sad reminder of the struggles many are facing. So we may have to come together to quickly donate for her so that she can eat before she bad. She fainted the child on her back. She fainted because she hasn't eaten for four good days. How is that even possible? But even though she, that story is not possible, that doesn't mean people are getting it easy. Honestly, it's really, really hard though. Honestly, people will think people are earning in dollars is not hard. This still we bought 3,000, 5,000 Naira the other day. Because of the dollar increase, it's not 10,000, 11,000 Naira. So if I'm earning in dollar, I'm still going to pay the same money. Not five times. He's still going. He, I'm still going to increase the money that I used to proceed this one before. So that is it. People say uh, Nigerians who are abroad are the one flexing the economy. Flexing what? <laughs> they are still going to come home now. The the only people I say they might enjoy the economy. People who can who can gamble. Yes, gamble in a way that okay. Now the naira is extremely, really, really crazy people can gamble it and be like you know what i'm going to quickly exchange my money to naira hoping in the nearest future maybe the naira is 1600 naira now or 660 or 700 so you might gamble it and quickly go and exchange like uh, ten thousand dollars ten ten points like you know how much that is like 16 for something millionaire hmm? you quickly put it in your bank hoping that since the government are working tirelessly to make sure this dollar drop, hoping that the nearest two months or three months, the dollar to naira will drop drastically to 500 naira to a dollar. Then automatically, you have gained so much money. The naira has gained and the, your 60 million naira is still intact. And your 60 million naira, like the possession power will be so, so high. You can gamble. Mm, you can gamble. Just like how some people gamble with the dollar. They remove their money as at when the dollar was uh, still 500 naira to naira. People went there to buy, to purchase a, a dollar with their naira and hoarded their dollar in their bank. Now the dollar is now almost time still. They have made so much money for themselves. You know? Well, thank you guys for watching the boy again, Adam Sling, and wonderful to stay blessed.